Okay, so the second part of being able to read music is knowing your notes, knowing your timing, and knowing your tempo. Now, if you take a look, there are just a few basic note types. There is a whole note. Now, a whole note gets four counts, and it's just a tiny little circle, and it's open. Then you have a half note, and these are going to be open circles with a flag, with a stem on them. And these will each get two counts. So you get a whole note and a half note. This gets four counts. This gets two counts. Then it gets even smaller. You get quarter notes. These are filled in notes with a staff, and each one gets one count. Then you get into eighth notes. And I like it, just in mathematics, it kind of halves itself as well. So each of these little notes will get a half count each. Now these are all bracketed together just so you can tell the difference between this and a quarter note. Now there are 16th notes and 32nd notes and all that happens with those is that you will see an additional bracket above it. And that would indicate that that was a 16th note. And if you see three brackets, that's a 32nd note. Now sometimes you'll find a note that has a dot after the end. All that means is that the note gets its original number of counts plus it gets an extra count. So here, this is a half note with a dot at the end. So it gets its original two counts plus another count. So it gets three counts total. Now you're going to want to talk about your timing signatures. Timing signatures will be found at the beginning of the line, at the beginning of each piece. Now here we have a 4-4 time. Now what this tells you is that the top number will tell you how many counts you get in each measure. And again, the bracketed sections are measures. And the, top, the bottom will tell you which note gets the count. So here this tells you that you get four counts in each measure, and this is going to tell you that the quarter note gets the count. 4-4 four, four time is very basic, and a lot of stuff is written in 4-4 four, four time. Now, if this was written in three-quarter time, what this would tell you is that each measure would get three counts, and it's the quarter note that would get the count. Now, three-four time is pretty much a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and it's very beautiful, and it's also a very popular timing. Now, you want to talk about tempos. Now, tempos are also going to be noted at the beginning of the piece. Now, if you note here in my Send in the Clowns, it's telling me that the tempo is lento. Now, lento, you don't know what the timing is on that. There are different names associated with tempos, and this one is going to be a little bit more moderate. Now, on every metronome will consist of numbers, and it will consist of sections where it will tell you the names, if it's Allegro, if it's a Dante, if it's Lento, and you can pretty much take your metronome, set it to that section, and so you can hear how fast the piece is supposed to go. And that's it.